hello all and welcome to my youtube channel so today in this particular video i am gonna be talking about the blending in machine learning so blending is a is a type of uh, machine learning algorithm which we generally uh, take an ex take a name as an extension of stack generation so which is almost a similar version to stack generation so there are minor difference between blending and stacking so the but the main component uh, of the stacking still preserved in this blending as well so there therefore we called an extension version of stacking so there are there is primarily two difference between blending and stacking so in stacking we had a base model and a meta model so uh, so what was happening over there in stacking was uh, we take the data set we split the data set into train and test then we'll take that train data and split into k folds then we pass those k folds data set to the base model and get all those predictions for each and every folds and then stack into a, a, a data set and then we prepare that data set predict, prediction data set and then pass it to the meta model for the final prediction so this is what was happening over there in stacking and we never touch that test data uh, in our model for a training but in blending what is happening is that we take the data and, and split into train and test and then we take the train data and we pass it to the base model where it gets trained and and the predictions are being done on the test data and that predictions are further being uh, collected as a part of data set and then uh, th that data set is passed to the meta model for the final predictions so this is what uh, a blending is doing over here so this is the major fun so this is the major difference between a blending and stacking so in blending type of uh, uh, stacking uh, assemble model where the meta model is trained on predictions made on holdout data set whereas in stacking uh, the meta model is trained on out of fold predictions made using k fold cross validation so this is the basic difference what we have in blending and stacking now uh, as we have seen in stacking uh, we have uh, a different kind of uh, functions uh, given in uh, uh, scale learn library so we can directly use it over there to implement the stacking but uh, for blending we don't have such kind of functions in sklearn so we have to prepare it our own so for that we're gonna be importing some basic libraries which are defined over here so uh, we are taking sklearn libraries mainly and taking various functions from it so the fun first function is make and assume classification which is for the preparation of the data set the our uh, own data set and we are taking train test split as a function for splitting data set the accuracy score for the measure of accuracy and then logistic relation model then k nearest classifier decision tree svc and a gaussian nb so these are the uh, things we are going to import from the sklearn and uh, numpy and, fr and from numpy we are taking an stack function so this is what the primary uh, uh, importing functions lo look like and so uh, let's start with the data preparation first so uh, uh, we're going to be using make it make underscore classification function and we are giving the parameters inside it so these are the parameters inside the make underscore classifications and we are giving 10,000 samples uh, with 20 features and with some variations in, involved in it and we are storing these things in a variable x comma y and uh, we are calling this under the function get underscore data set so when we'll run this uh, function get underscore data set so it will uh, generate the uh, random data set so let's run this then uh, here comes the preparation of the base model so for the base model we are taking uh, uh, five uh, models uh, which is logistic relation k nearest classifier decision tree classifier svc and gaussian nb so this is what get a score model function is doing over here so it is calling all those uh, uh, models which we are going to be using over here and we are appending it, it to the models list and finally this function will return this model list which you are appending it over here so this is what a get underscore model will do so it will collect the all the base model required for the preparation and then finally it will return those models so let's run it 
then finally uh, finally we are uh, trying to uh, brand the model so uh, th at this stage we are trying to prepare the model in terms of blending so this is what uh, we are trying to achieve it over here so we are going to define our own custom function so for this we are uh, defining our own custom function as fit underscore ensemble which takes parameters models x train x well y train and y well so this is what uh, our function uh, takes in and then we're going to iterate over the models which were which we are which we are taking as in uh, model preparation as in uh, for the base model preparation so we are taking those models and then finally iterating it over here and fitting it to the uh, train data and then finally predict, predict getting the prediction from the validation data so this is what uh, it is happening over here so this is what uh, uh, the function look like so we are getting iterations from the models and then fitting it on the train data set and then printing it on the validation data set and get the predictions and then uh, reshaping it to the columns and then finally appending it to the met underscore x uh, so this is what uh, uh, so this is what the predictions of the test to data will look like and it is getting appended to the met underscore x list and finally we are converting th that list into 2d array because our uh, meta model which is our next stage uh, after the base model getting iterated we're going to be putting that kind of predictions so all the predictions of this are being stored in here in met underscore x and then after con conversion to 2d array we are going to forward to the meta uh, meta model and that meta model accepts everything in 2d array so that's why we are converting it to 2d array, 2D array by using a stack function from the numpy array so this is what it is doing so finally it has converted uh, the list uh, containing the predictions from for each every model and then uh, converting it in, into the 2d array and stored it to the meta underscore x and then uh, we have taken uh, the meta model as logistic regression and finally fitting the, uh, the uh, meta model on the predictions prediction data set which is meta, meta underscore x with the target column as y underscore well which is validation column so this is what it is doing and this blender is nothing but the meta model the final meta model is getting trained on this uh, the the final predictions got from the uh, base models and and it, it and it is getting trained over here and finally it returns uh, this function returns the blender model so this is what a uh, whole function look like so fit underscore assembles train the model the base model and then uh, produce the prediction data set and then pr that produced data set is being used by the uh, meta model and then uh, the meta model the train meta model is being written from here so let us run it now uh, this uh, now the next steps comes into the prediction of the models so uh, we have trained the model the the blender model now we want the predictions from the test from the test data set so uh, we have the new points which we have got in terms of test data so we have to convert those test points into the same way that the base models have been trained on so we'll take that uh, test points and iterate to each and every model and get the predictions of those test points and store into the variable and those variables are, it will be in the form of list and then finally we will convert those list into the 2d array and then again we'll pass to the uh, meta model for the predictions so this is what it has been taken care of over here so predict underscore ensemble model will take the models will take the blender model as well and the test points the new test points so we'll iterate to each and every model and get the prediction for the test points and we'll store it in the y hat then again we'll reshape into the column and then again we append it to the mat underscore x which is the list and we'll convert that uh, predictions of the new test points into a 2d array and then we'll take the blender model and get the prediction for this new test points and it will return so this is what a function of print underscore assemble is doing so let us run it so till now what we have done is we have taken a data set we have prepared a 
uh, base models. We have taken those base base models and ran into the with the train data sets and then get the predict got the predictions and then uh, we train it with the meta models and that meta model was returned in the form of blender and then we we took the prediction for uh, we derived we prepared the prediction function where we we are taking the new test points and predicting it over here by using the blender model so this is what we have done till now so let's 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 implement those functions so this is the get underscore data set function which we have uh, uh, prepared above so we are calling it over here to prepare the data set and store it in the x and y variable and then we are splitting that x and y variable into test and train data set with 50 percent test and 50 percent train and then again we are splitting the uh, train data set into further validation and uh, x train so this is what it has been done over here so we are applying a two time train and test split to get the data set into train test and validation test so this is what uh, we have done over here for the uh, for the for the data set uh, splitting and we are printing the shapes of those train test and validation data set and finally we are calling uh, get underscore model function to get the base models corrected and stored in this model variable and then we are using this blender function which we have used as uh, which we have uh, prepared it as a fit underscore assemble so it is taking all those models which are which are which have which have been called from here and fitting it uh, and fitting it on x train x well y train and y well and finally return the blender model as we have seen above and taking that blender model and getting the prediction done so for the prediction we have uh, another we have another uh, function which we have defined it customly which is predict underscore ensemble which will take all those models and blender uh, model and the new data point as x test and finally we get the predictions of that x test so this is what it is doing over here and finally we'll compare the uh, predictions uh, with the ground truth level so this is what our uh, final fiction uh, fi final prediction will be here stored in this y hat and we'll We'll compare it with that ground tool, which is Y test, and we'll get the accuracy score. So this is what the whole uh, implementation of blending look like. So let's run it. So as you can see, this is the blending accuracy, which is approximately ninety-eight percent. So this can be implemented. Uh, this blending technique can be implemented. Uh, when the individual mo models are not performing in that better way so you can use these kind of techniques like uh, like blending stacking or uh, uh, even vote voting ensembles so uh, it is advisable that first uh, you should train the models individually and if uh, the further uh, further increment in the accuracy or performance is required then you can go for these kind of techniques and get the improvement done so this is all about this video Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye.